but with that height and reach advantage. Russell in the red shorts, Wyatt in the black. And only a short break since the quarterfinals. They'll, they'll tire even quicker. Oh, yeah, they, they haven't had time to uh, recuperate yet, Tom, but um, they're warriors, as you say. Warriors on ring warriors. John White wants to use the knees in close. John just out of focus with that, yeah. uh, with that jab. And Mark Russell looks very focused, doesn't he? Yeah, he's moving around well, Mark. He's when uh, John throws the jab, he's gone. But the determined glint, that steely glint, Mark Russell. <laughs> oh, good use of the knees, though, from Wyatt. Holds his man and tries to use the knee. And then the kick. That's good play from John Wyatt. Yeah, John's excellent at uh, grappling the knee. Well, he's already a good foot taller, so... Yeah. <laughs> the use of the knee is uh, ideal for him. I've worked with John in the gym, and when he grabs all to you, Tom, he can grab you hard. <laughs> Inside with me, Dean Twist, former British heavyweight kickboxing champion. We slow down a tad now after a blistering start to this first round of the first semi-final. And a big prize, isn't it? A trip to Las Vegas representing Britain in the Grand Prix it's 2002. Very, very, very big prize. Um, every fighter knows what he's got to do tonight, and uh, they are throwing caution to the wind, obviously. And that's what makes this K-1 such a, a great entertainment. And that's why... This Aston Villa Leisure Centre in the heart of Birmingham, England, is jam-packed full. End of the first round. Little nod off uh, both fighters there, Tom. Just Even? To, uh, yeah, just to acknowledge each other. They both know they're going to um, start the fireworks in the next round. Look at John Wyatt there. He just says to his corner, I'm fine, not a problem. And a very experienced corner there. Two walkers working yeah. the legs. Yeah, they'll be um, they'll be telling John what to do. He'll be listening now. Kirk's telling him what to do there again. So much experience between uh, Kirk and Winston there. Um, John Field must feel so confident having those two guys in the corner. And from a very famous gym as well in Wolverhampton, Trojan. Oh yeah, very famous gym. In the other corner, Mark Russell in good shape. Stands and listens intently. Back goes the gum shield. I think the extra weight he's just telling on Mark now um, because he has put quite a bit of weight on to fight in the game. Second round of three three minute rounds. Fighting under K1 rules. No elbows, but uh, knees, very much a weapon. And John really does have to boss it with that height and reach. Yeah. Oh, and he's done well, he's tagged him. Yeah. And then uses the knees to great effect. He's following through, he's caught him with a couple, and he's got the knee to the chin. And Russell is hanging on there. A good attack that from Wyatt, and he Very goes good. again. He went low and then he went high with the punch. And got a knee into the chin, which is yeah. excellent. And tries to get that knee up again, and that's where he's using that height to its advantage. And free Steve, Steve Hart splits him. Mark's cut on the eye now. 
his right eye is Here comes that knee again. Yes, he is. Right eye cut. Perhaps it was done by the knee. Oh, and he's tagged him again as Wyatt. Right on the cut as well. And he, uh, he's trying to breathe. He has a, a little plaster on his nose, does John Wyatt, to open the nose so he can breathe properly. I think there was a bit of an headbutt there. I'm not sure. John no, he didn't, didn't seem too happy, did he? No, John didn't look very happy at all. Turning into a good scrap now. And Russell is trying to step the pace up. And John lunges forward, but a couple of times has lunged and not caught him. Yeah. Then comes the knee up again, which is excellent technique from John Wyatt. Good front kick good as well. Kick. Excellent. But it's that straight jab he lunges and misses, and that's when Russell has an opportunity. Yeah, I think Mark's trying the left up to the body now, what he'd done in the previous round. Oh, Here comes the knee from Russell. The blood streaming from uh, Mark's eye now. Surprised John doesn't try and work on that. There's the end of the second round. Now that, that little plaster there opens up the, the, the nasal passages to breathe better. If he can't breathe without them, he could be in trouble over three minutes. Yeah, that's true. Um, he obviously just wears it for a reason, just to help him breathe, but he, you know, he, he can breathe. And uh, we've seen John, and he, has, he does always seem to have a bit of a war, but um, we know he can, uh, we can go this distance. There's the Winston working the legs to get the blood flowing again. Mark's corner having to work hard on the working uh, hard on the eye, aren't on they? On the eye, yeah. I'm not sure if it was uh, off his knee or off a, it was a good shot, but I think it was off the knee. I'm not sure. I think we saw him a few times lunge, though, John White, and go missing and allowing Russell to, to hit him with some body shots and. Just you think he was a bit more. That's right. Well, he's got to be careful. He's a bit more control. Yeah, Mark's throwing a dangerous left hook as well tonight. So, you know, if he misses. That cut on the eye. Look at the cut on the eye. It's yeah. Very, very bad. Look. Yeah. Oh, look at that cut there. It's dangerous position because the blood will go into the eye. It's very dangerous. I think it's over. I don't think they're going to let Mark carry on. Well, they've just asked the referee. No, they're not letting no. Mark carry on. He's, bit, you know. he's not allowing it to carry on. So, John Wyatt goes through. John Wright goes through.